Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. Today is more than likely going to be the first day of harvest. So as you guys know, we've struggled with down corn. Um, we have a lot of down corn. So we got a hold of a corn reel and we're gonna be using that. So since we have it mounted on the head, we're gonna try to go through and harvest all the down corn first and then whatever isn't bad. Um, I have a field of corn that is, doesn't have any down corn at all. Um, we'll take the reel off for that because the way it's positioned, if the corn's not downed, it'll just knock it over. So Travis just hooked up to the auger with the 76. Dad's on the bobcat, he's going to get the wagon. We're gonna set the auger up to the grain bin and try to harvest some downed corn out here. This farm is the worst next to my place. Um, some of the worst fields that we've got. There's a lot of downed corn out here in the big patch. And the worst spot on this farm is probably this one over here by the road. Well, that looks kind of weird. So what you guys are looking at is a corn reel. Dad and Travis went and picked it up yesterday from some guy out in Iowa. He said, Marty from FS helped you find it. So I want to give Marty a thank you. So what does the corn reel do, Dad? Want to explain it? Works the stalks and material into the, the auger and into the gathering rolls so it doesn't plug up your head. Just keeps everything moving and down corn. Really? Yeah, tar spot, maybe. Just a little bit. Next year would probably be a good year for fungicide. Well, the thing is you gotta remember too is the plants were obviously damaged and weakened and mm -hmm. probably more prone to everything. We just did our first 100 feet with the corn reel, and I mean, I think it does about as good of a job as it can do. It does do a pretty good job at throwing stuff into the head. The only problem is that you're getting more corn stalks and stuff through it, which is gonna be a given with down corn. See, we were getting all the corn on the ground. Is that from coming out the back of the combine, or is that? Head shell? Head shell. Is it really soon? It said 17, but I don't know if I believe it. 19.1. Not bad. No. And that was just that particular, you know, in the corner of the grain tank. So. Yeah. Andrew just checked the moisture, and it's running 19.1, which is actually pretty good. But we'll see how the yield turns out here. There's a lot of ears on the ground that we just can't get to.
This is awful. Chain came off. did one round on the outside of the strip here behind the machine shed and right now the yield is averaging about 146 bushels to the acre which on this farm um, pretty much anything under 200 much less 145 is pretty much a disaster because this is our best yielding farm and usually we can expect to see 240 at least so we're not using the green cart until we get more of these fields opened up and we can get around with it. Right now, it just makes sense to use the smaller Brent. My initial thoughts on that corn reel, I don't really like it. Um, I see how it would, you know, I see where it comes in handy, but you also see the corn that it's knocking down. So the thing is with the fields out here is that downed corn areas are very inconsistent so if we had a one giant large field where it was all down I mean I could see where corn reel would be really nice but oh we just had a pigeon fly by um, out here though it's the middle of the strips that are completely flat and it's the outsides that are standing yet so um, I know in the past we've struggled a lot with you know bunching up on top of the head um, the corn will come in it'll pull it up out of the ground and then it'll just sit on the front of the head and that's the whole idea behind this corn reel is that those teeth will come down and it'll push the corn up into the head where the auger can grab it and run it through we're getting a lot more material through the combine that way um, moisture is pretty in inconsistent too it's been running anywhere between I've been seeing on the monitor 18 to 24 percent so it's all going in the bin the sioux bin we're gonna dry it down and See what, see what we decide to do with it from there. There's a lot of material, foreign matter, in this corn. With all of the chaff and stuff that's going through the combine, you're gonna get more foreign material in there. But he's gonna keep going, and I'm gonna take this back and put it on the, on the wagon that we set up earlier.
standing, it's yielding 136 bushels to the acre. The moisture is at 18 and a half percent. So this morning we took the corn reel off. Um, we were having issues with it, feeding stuff into the head. Uh, on the stuff that's still standing, we felt that it was knocking stuff back down too much, almost like it was hurting us. Um, so this morning we took off the corn reel and we tried harvesting some without it. And in the stuff that is mostly standing up, uh, it works good without the corn reel. Um, however, I'm pretty sure we're gonna end up putting this back on for the real bad stuff again. Um, it really just depends on where we're at in the field and what needs to be done um, right now we're doing a lot of back and forth so we're trying to figure out what the best approach is whether to just leave this on full time um, we made a couple or a change today on the corn head earlier today the weld that is on the side of the auger on the corn head um, broke so they pulled that back out they welded the end back on the auger uh, wasn't too terrible of a thing. Um, we didn't have to make a parts run, which is the most important thing because it is the weekend. And uh, another change that we made were we put these little points on the auger and we haven't gotten to try to test it yet, but we're hoping that having those points on there will help with the corn build up on the front here um, to hopefully not have to use the corn reel for everything because there are some spots and it really just depends on where you're at in the strip. There's really no good way of harvesting, honestly, because on one part of the strip, I mean, it's good running. If you have the corn reel on, you're knocking that stuff down. And then on the stuff that is wind blown, uh, if you don't have the corn reel on it, it creates a disaster <laughs> on the front of the head. So we were having issues with the auger pulling the chaff in. So we're hoping that by putting those points on, we put like six or seven on across the auger. We're hoping that that'll help it grab and pull that stuff in. Um, we can't test it out today because of the rain, but um, we got rained out when we were repairing the auger here. So we got everything put back together. Uh, now we just gotta wait for the weather to calm down. Well, it's officially that time of year. So every year I like to do this thing where I shave off my beard. And uh, that way, if you guys are watching one of my videos, you know about how long we've been harvesting by the length of my beard. So, Rocket, what do you say we start the whole harvest beard, huh? Let's get to it. I have regrets. Even my phone doesn't recognize me. This is just insulting. So that's pretty much it for this video. We got the Wheel of Despair put on and taken back off. I guess I get why the previous owner called it the Wheel of Despair because if you have to use it uh, on or off, it's kind of a damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of situation. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to stick along for the rest of Harvest 2020. I'll keep you guys in the loop as we continue on. And uh, once the rain clears up, which looks like it's done raining already, uh, we're gonna get out, out there and keep on harvesting because it seems like it's gonna take a while. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.